What is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another video for you guys. So what we have today is another tournament format video. We have PBL Season 3 Week 1. So if you guys don't know what PBL is, just a quick reminder, uh, it's a third season. This is the most original league ever in Brawl Stars. So it's hosted by Coach Corey. Many of you guys know him. Amazing YouTuber, my personal favorite. And, you know, he hosts this on Twitch live Thursdays every uh, every week at 6 p.m. Eastern. So definitely go check that out. There's another one on Friday as well for Europe. I don't know exactly what time that is, but if you know, if you subscribe, if you if you follow him on Twitch, you'll get that notification. So anyways, there's a lot of good teams in this. Uh, there are three different Omen teams. There's a two tribe teams, a Nova team, Arena Quesito, and Ace One. So Eight really, really solid teams. This is the third season. My team has won both seasons so far. And yes, we're going to kick off into this third season with a match against Tribe. So hopefully you guys enjoy the matches. I'm going to be going through all of them. It's a best of seven series. And on my team, I have myself, Jack Cheppo, Jigsaw, Feli, and Patchy Pirate. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know who you guys thought played well. Um, there are some stats if you guys want to see them. I won't show them for this video just because the stats are relatively new and they're inflated because there's only been so little amount of games. But if you guys are interested in seeing team stats, player stats, all that, I can definitely show you guys and let you guys know. So I'll catch you guys in the first game. Let's hop in there right now. Alright, so here we go into the first game. So we're going to be going Gene, Spike, and and Pam and they're gonna be having a Frank, a Jean, and Anita. So originally our plan was to double up on a lane so two people are gonna go on this right lane and kind of pinch the tank and the reason for that is because you know a tank is hard to take down but if you have two people going at it it's it's decently easy. So you can see myself on Keith over there. Keith's gonna just chill try and regen. I'm just gonna get the easy pull. A what that did is get a kill and B what that did is we decided Feli was going to be the mid because he already had three gems at the time of the pull. We're just going to open up that top region so Feli can just shoot at them. They have nowhere to hide. So again, myself and Feli just pinching Keith pretty easily. Just keeping him hit is very important. I'm going to walk up there, be able to take out Keith. Jack is going to be able to hit his super on Usain Colt and he's going to be able to get the kill. So we're doing really well so far. Feli is just staying back a little bit because he knows Nick has super. Nick is going to pull Jack and although he got the kill, this allows Feli to get two, uh, three more gems. Again, he's going to try and hide, but I'm going to be able to pretty easily take him out with that pull. And we're not allowing Keith to do anything. You know, it's it's been nine gem spawns. He doesn't even have his super yet. So we're really, we're doing really well so far. Again, Feli's being super, super defensive at the moment because of the gene pull. Jack's trying to win his lane. Basically, all we need is one, one lane, and then we can move up. But they are playing a little bit better now. So you can see Jack doing some good work on Usain Cole. You can see me and Feli taking on Keith at the same time. Usain over here is one shot. Jack's trying to hit him with that RNG. He hit the first one, but he wasn't able to hit the second one. Again, he wasn't able to take him out. So I tried to pull Runic, but I put myself in a little bit of an obvious position. So Runic was able to pull me. Good pull on him. But Jack was able to go up and take three gems because he pushed Usain back. And they were both focused on me and Feli. So right here you can see Feli and Jack in our spawn. You see Feli gets pulled, so really good pull by Runic. I have my pull, but I'm going to save it because I saw Jack use the super. This is a huge miss pull over here. If Runic hit that pull, the game would have been over. 100%. You're going to see Feli picking up those gems. I'm going to move back. Feli's going to get supered. Keith's the one, so he can't finish. I'm going to pull Keith so I can get him real quick. Myself and Feli are doing some really good work on Usain Colt. We're going to be able to take him out. Jack's going to die over there, and Feli's just kind of trying to not get pulled. So he's just going to stay really defensive. I had my super. I tried to really quick trigger hit uh, hit Runic because if he went down, there, was, there would have been a very low chance they would have won. But still, seven seconds left. You know, we're keeping them low. Feli put his turret right in front of him. Um, I have Usain down pretty low. Feli was able to finish him, and that's going to be it for the first game. So I was able to get star player there. You guys know I love playing Gene. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the first game. We're up 1-0 in the best of seven series. Let's hop into that second game. Alright, so in our second game, we're going to be playing on safe zone. So our comp is going to be Colt, Daryl, and Jesse, and they're going to be going with the Brock, Carl, and Daryl. Now, to be honest, I kind of like their comp a lot more. I think their comp is a lot stronger, and I think it synergizes well with each other. But if you guys know Jack, you guys know Jack is a insane, insane Colt, and he loves to play Colt. So he clicked Colt, and originally we weren't planning on it, but we're like, alright, I guess we'll just let him Colt. So he is kind of getting tapped over here. He is going to go down to Keith. Not a great start for Jack, but the Jesse is super, super strong here. And you're going to see Feli roll onto Usain Colt. And even though he wasn't able to take him out, 
he did get his super back. He's going to roll right back on him, get him super low. My bounce shots were able to take him out. And this is just where the Jesse just comes into play because the bounce shots were lethal. They were able to hit three of them and get them low. And I'm just going to put in this turret. And even though, yes, the turret isn't doing too much to the safe. Yes, the turret isn't doing too much to them. They're wasting all their shots on it. You know, it's stalling them. And while their Daryl went in, they weren't able to support the push at all. So you can see myself on the left side, I'm kind of just focusing Keith and Usain, trying to not let them get in. You can see Runic is coming from that right side. Belly is just going to try and roll on Usain. Uh, we have the Colt, uh, Runic going on the Colt, and we, we know Jack is going to be able to get that kill. Just because Jack does have that DPS, he's really strong with Colt. I'm going to be able to walk in over there and be able to take out Keith. And at this point, it's kind of just the control type right here. So I can hit the safe, and the safe is just going to bounce shots onto people. I'm going to back up just because Runic is on me. I was able to take out Runic alongside uh, Jack Chapo. Belly's just rolling in over here, and I almost went down. I had 28 health, but I, you can see I'm just spamming my turret. Even though I'm low, I, I really don't care. Just in a defensive position, just spamming my turret. So I moved back. Belly was able to go down over there, but he served a great distraction. Enough time for Jack to move up the map and for myself to heal up and go into a more aggro position. So you can see Jack breaking all the walls, just so it's easier for us to kill Ru Nick. I think Nick was trying to go past the water, so I think he had a missed roll over there. You can see Nick had super and he wasted it over there. Um, Usain was having a lot of pressure. I normally wouldn't uh, recommend you to put a turret there, but just because we're at a good point of the game where we can play more defensive and we, we have this in the bag as long as we don't choke on defense, it's not a bad spot for a turret. So you're gonna see Feli roll in over there. I'm just gonna hit the safe because I know when I hit the safe, it's just going to bounce onto other people. I was able to take out Runic over there, but Keith was able to take me down. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. 82% uh, to uh, to 14. You know, we, we really gave it to them this game. It was really, really good. I felt like we had really good domination. But yeah, that's going to be the second game. So now we're up 2-0 in the series. We're going to sub out Fel... Oh no, we didn't sub out Feli yet. Uh, myself and Jack played every single game. But yeah, you can see Jack's goal. It's 838. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, let's hop into that third game. It's going to be Brawl Ball, which is my personal favorite mode. So we should be winning, and let's see what happens. So here we go into the third game. So we're going to be going with a Carl, a Shelly, and a Rico. Now, why did we go with this comp? We know that Daryl is super strong on this map, and we want to play Brawlers that counter Daryl. We know that Rico is super annoying here. A Shelly is good against the Daryl, and a Carl is also super good on this map, specifically against the Daryl as well. Now, Usain was able to push up really, really hard to be able to take out Jack. Super good play on, on Usain's end over there. Belly's a really good Shelly, so you can see him kind of just waiting, knowing that Keith is going to roll in. Um, he has a super ready. Like, we're, we're totally ready for this defense. Unfortunately, Keith missed his roll, and he didn't roll on the ball. And Belly supered Keith right into the ball. So that was a bit unfortunate. You know, you don't really ex expect someone who's playing in these type of tournaments to miss their role. So that was a good play on Feli's part. I can't really hold that one against him. Uh, Chepo's going to miss his super over there. Feli had a good super in which he stunned both of them and got them low. And got me into an aggro position. So you can see Usain is kind of on me over there. Um, I know, I can see Keith as pull. And as you guys know, the worst thing that you can do in comp competitive is die. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit him once and I'm just going to roll away. Just because I know dying is not what you want to do now. I feel like Chepo had a really easy goal there. And he kind of messed that one up. Good save over there by Nick, if any, or by Keith, if anything. But I feel like we could have scored there. That should have made the game 1 1. So we have Keith on me over here. Uh, you got Feli on the left side. Normally, we'd want Feli to be on the uh, on the tank. So this isn't really a good position for us. I'm going to be going onto the, onto the uh, Poco just because I know that's a good place for me to go. Uh, just because he's that's like kind of their source of power when they're on an offensive position because he can hit people Charge his teammates uh, or give his teammates heal at the same time as well as get that heal off Which just makes it super hard for us to kill him. So Nick is gonna be backed up over there Belly's gonna be do doing a great job of backing them up. Keith is gonna roll on me again I'm just gonna throw him the ball and Ke it fell just gonna come and absolutely take him out at this point All you got is a poco on us and it's just not enough DPS to be able to take out Feli. So Feli's just going to walk up and put it in the net. And that leaves it at 1-1. Now it should be 2-1 if Jack scored. But unfortunately he wasn't able to do so. So you got Jack on the right side. And we don't know that they're on the right side right now. I was thinking I was going to get the ball and kind of just walk up and do a nice spin move. Feli's going to get a nice super off over there. Uh, he's going to get another one off on Nick, and that's going to lead this game to overtime. So we're doing really well. Um, I am into our comp. I think our comp was picked well. 
Um, I think we're doing good. I was able to take out Nick over there, and we got to an overtime position, which is where we should have good momentum. Uh, Jack was gonna, is going to miss his super over there. Uh, I'm going to give the ball to Feli, try and get him to get a goal. He gave the ball to Jack, and Jack wasn't able to put the ball into the net. So originally I was going to get the ball, but Keith played perfect, perfect defense. A lot of people messed that up, so credits to Keith for uh, getting that save. Usain is going to get the ball. He has a wide open right side. And just before Feli can shoot him and just before Jack can get to that area, Usain is going to bury that goal. So GG's to them. 2-1 uh, into the in the series right now. That was a little bit of a tough game for us. Although we had the comp that we wanted and we knew what they were going to run, uh, we weren't able to get that dub. So GG to them. Let's hop into that fourth game. So here we go, hopping into that all-important fourth siege game. Now with the series tied 2-1, and them having the momentum off of winning the last game, if we can get the win and get the series to 3-1, it's basically over at that point. Whereas, if they're able to come back and tie the series at 2-2, they'd get some like just insane momentum and probably be able to take it back just off the fact that they're playing well and they have the momentum. So right off the bat, we were able to get two quick kills. I got my lane down and Cheppo was able to get his lane down. And right here, we're kind of just focusing the Pam, all of us. Nick is healing up, so I'm going to be able to take out the Pam pretty easily. Uh, Jack didn't heal up, which makes it a little bit harder for him. Uh, Nick with a good pull over there. If you're a gene and you can pull someone into your like area over there, it, it's insane. Like There's nothing that you can do. The other player is going to go down. So good play over here by Jigsaw. He's able to use his super and kill both of them. And we're able to get the third power up because of that. Um, there's just a power up over here. So I know I'm going to get hit, but I also knew Usain had super, so I wasn't charging anything. So I just went over there and I got, my, uh, I got that power up. So you can see again, Runic has his pull, and we know what Nick wants to do is go to the side and pull the bot. So we're not going to allow that. As you guys saw, Jigsaw went to that right side and really defended that because we saw that's where Nick was going. If he pulled him, he was just going to go down immediately. So you can see myself going in with Jigsaw and Jack. We're going to back up just because we want to hold position. We want to be able to get the next siege as well. So you can see Jack doing a really good job over there on Usain. I'm just waiting for my lane to spawn. Jigsaw is waiting for his lane to get close enough to him. This part was kind of annoying because I know Nick had super. And I know Nick would be going for me because Jigsaw had that turret. I was ready with my super. You guys can see I flicked yellow. It didn't go off. I don't know why it didn't go off. That part really aggravated me because I knew it was happening. I knew what I had to do to stay alive. And I felt like I made the right play, but uh, apparently the Pam turret just didn't feel like going off. So at that point, basically... We, we just kind of broke, we just break down basically, you know, they're holding down the mid really well. They got that level 5 siege bot, as well as they're putting two bolts over there. So I'm ready to start off the next uh, the next round, it's going to be 4-2. to two. Now we got to get a couple kills over here, it's very important, but we weren't able to do so. Jigsaw actually is going to go down, so we're actually doing a fair amount of damage to the bot before he comes in. And our comp is super good for defense, you can see I'm holding off the bot, Jack's able to hold off the bot, and Nick's going to miss his pull, which is super important, because in this map, it's really, really hard to do damage unless you get a wall break on this area right before the Ike. And the only brawler that can do a wall break, basically, that's good here, is a Brock and a Jean if you hit a pull through the wall. Now, Brock was banned for this set, so we weren't able to play Brock or else we would have. And, you know, Jean, he just missed that pull. So that was huge for future rounds. So it's 5-4 to four for them right now. Jigsaw, as you guys saw, jumped in. I don't really know why. It was kind of like a suicide attempt, to be honest. I don't know why he would think about doing that. Jack was able to take down Keith alongside the help of myself and Jigsaw, so that was super good. It made it a uh, three on two, and we were able to pick up some gems from here. So although it was too late to get the to get the gems, or not the gems, sorry, the bolts to tie the to tie the round, we were able to get a really really big lead to start off that next one. We were also able to take out Keith over there. Good work over there by Jigsaw and Jack, and that really really helps. You're gonna see Jack's gonna put down his uh, his turret over there. It's gonna slow down the bot already. We're going to have the bot at 35% before he's even at the safe. Like he hits it a couple times and that's all they're able to get. So we have a 9 bolt lead. We're down by uh, by 6%. We've had some really good defense. All we have to do is get this bot and go in. So you guys can see Jigsaw got clipped on the wall over there. Um, that was really big because that, and that allowed it from going Keith kill to they kill Jigsaw. So they're coming back. 25 seconds left. They have possession so far. Jack's hitting his shots right now, but unfortunately, Pam in the tur Pam in her healing station has so much HP, and there's only so much that Jack can do. Jack's gonna put that turret in front of him. Usain and Jigsaw are going at it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Jigsaw was almost able to take out Usain, but wasn't able to do so. At the very end, you can see it's 11-10 right here. Runic got another bolt, and if he got that one off, it would have been a tie. But luckily for us, 
we were able to get that bolt off just before Nick was able to do so. So I had to defend a, a level 11 bot and not let it do 6%. And that's a lot to ask. So you can see we're going in already. Uh, Usain is going to go down. They're going to pull, pull the bot, but it's too late already. Uh, you can see Runic is kind of standing still, so I just went over there and killed Runic for fun. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get the win over here. This is a huge win, and it put us up 3-1. At this point, we're feeling really confident. Uh, we know if we're, if we're given three shots to win a game, we're going to win one of them. So, really good uh, really good win over there. That was huge. That was a really clutch ending. Now, I'm talking about like a second or half a second later, and it would have been a tie on the bottom. We would have have to gone in and done some something like literally crazy in order to get that win. So GG's to them, 3-1 uh, right now, as you guys can see, Jigsaw played really well when he subbed out for Feli. Jigsaw is going to continue playing the next game, let's hop right into it. So here we have the 5th game in the best of 7, we're up 3-1 at the moment, and we're going to be going with Spike, Gene, and uh, and Barley. As you guys know, Gene is definitely the best mid and competitive right now. Barley is super good on this map, Carl was banned, and they thought we were going to go, um, they thought we were going to go Nita, because Jack is a super good Nita, but instead we went on Spike because we thought any counter to, to Nita would be counterable by Spike, so that was really good. Right now you have Chepo backing up Keith. I went in super aggro. You definitely don't want to do this as a mid, but I saw that I knew Nick was on the left side. I knew Jigsaw had it held down at the moment, so we were able to go ahead and take it. Um, I'm able to get a few sprays over there and be able to take out Rick. Also, I'm able to pull, uh, pull Keith over there, and Jack was able to finish him off. So you have Usain up on that top left. He's, re he's really, really backed up so far. By, uh, by Jigsaw. So far Nick doesn't have a super so I'm playing really aggressive. Uh, Nick's just gonna come down, Jigsaw's gonna be able to get that kill and I didn't know that Keith used the super so something really big is communication and competitive but Jack wasn't able to VC for this game so unfortunately he wasn't able to call out that Keith used a super. I didn't know because he was off my screen and I got pulled over there. Now I knew Runic had, uh, had super thank god because Jigsaw was in the VC and he told me so and I was able to go ahead and predicted, I knew that if I was were to go for the gems, that Runic would try and super me, so I just pretended to go in and then backed off. So right here, you can see myself and Runic without a super. I don't really mind if he picks up these gems, because I know I'm closer to my super than he is. I was able to get it, and at this point, I know he doesn't have super, and Jap Chepo was able to take out Keith, so I'm just going to do an easy thing. I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to pull Usain over there. I missed the pull, but still, we got an easy kill on him. Runic was gonna, is going to miss over there on Jack Chepo, which again would have been a big pull if he was able to hit it. Um, but yeah, right here we're just having them come back. We're just retreating basically. Good kill over there by Jack on Nick. You can see Jigsaw goes in and was able to take out uh, Nick. And I'm just going to go over there and take out Usain. So that's going to be it for the PBL uh, Week 1 games. We were able to take the set 4-1 against Tribe Gaming's second team named Tribe Invictus. Uh, again, I'm gonna leave a link to the PBL server down below. So if you guys want to join and stay in touch with, well, like, it's really, in my opinion, the best, the best. I can't like say this enough. The best league, in my opinion, competition-wise and community-wise. You know, a lot of community figures are in this. There's a lot of people helping out that are from the community, and it's just really well run. So I definitely consider watching it. You guys can learn a lot from it. You know, Coach Corey streaming it, so you guys have that. You guys want to watch Coach Corey? He's a great guy. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed what you saw today. And we're going to be back tomorrow with another great video. I will catch you guys then. Peace.